everyone, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole, and today I want to talk about my books. And what I want to focus on is just helping people get to a place where they can get the things that they desire, and in the time period that they're waiting, they can be encouraged. For those of you who have my books or have read them, already then you can follow along as a guide uh, my first book of course was faith changes the outcome and this is a book about faith now you may have another term that you use because my books are universally written but it is about believing strongly in something greater than yourself and just knowing that whatever you desire and dream about it's possible and convincing yourself above everything that what you want to achieve is possible my next book hit your way to fit it's focused in the same uh, direction except for it's on health and wellness allowing you to be positively motivated to reach your goals there are suggestions for nutrition there's education about fitness and exercise and things that you can adopt to help you reach your goals. The Destiny Project is about using yourself as an example for any type of project. Every project has a process of development, a planning process, a process for implementation, carrying out, taking action for what the plan is, and then evaluating yourself, making adjustments, and keeping it moving in the right direction. So this is about yourself, developing yourself, progressing yourself toward your destiny and your goals and things that you want to achieve and things that you discover about yourself that you want to do and being able to do it. Of course, and Limitless, one of my absolute favorites, is about beating the odds and winning in life, being free in your mind, body, and spirit to believe that all things are possible and to take every single limit off of yourself that makes you believe that things that you want to achieve are not possible. It doesn't matter what it is. It does not matter what area. All of my books are universally focused. It doesn't matter what area of your life you want to achieve. It is all possible. And you just have to convince yourself that it's possible. And in my book, I use techniques to help you understand that it's possible. Now, of course, as you're pursuing your goals and as you're growing and developing in life, you learn that sometimes you need a breakthrough. Because things get hard, they get tough, and you just don't understand why you're experiencing some hardships in life. We all experience it. Of course, just because you set goals does not mean that you're not going to experience difficult times. But difficult times don't have to keep you down. All you need to do is be motivated and inspired and encouraged to know that you can make it through and to have a helpful guide to show you how you can make it through. And this is what my book, Breakthrough, is about. Finding resiliency in the worst of times and coming back stronger and better than ever. And I, like anybody knows, that hardship will come, things that you wanna do will seem like they'll never happen, and Sometimes it's just difficult. You experience tragedy, and you can make it through. Miracle Manifestation is my next book because after you experience breakthrough and you get back on your feet, sometimes you realize you're still not where you want to be. And you look at, I've done everything. I've prayed. I've asked God. I've used all the techniques out of every single book from every episode that I've ever watched of positive energy and the law of attraction and how in the world am I still here? Do miracles really exist? Do things that I desire that seem impossible 
Are they really able to happen? And that's what miracle manifestation is about. It is about manifesting and getting what you desire in your hand, no matter what it is. If it's healing, if it's your relationships, if it's just getting material that you want in your life, in your career, or a car, a house, money, anything that you want. It doesn't matter. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you dream about. I don't know what you've ever prayed for. But miracle manifestation is for anybody, okay, any age, any person, no matter what you want to manifest. It is about manifesting your desire, and there are no limits to what your desire is. Some people, they're not interested in money. They want healing for their body. They want a health condition to improve. They want to see themselves go to the next level. They want to see their families made whole again. It doesn't matter what you want to manifest. I'm showing you in this book that you can manifest your desires and what to do in the process of the manifestation coming to pass because it is definitely going to manifest. So I guide you through the manifestation process in Miracle Manifestation. And of course, my newest book, the Convince Yourself book, because just like all of these books, we must be inspired and motivated to achieve what we want, to do what we want, to reach our goals, to manifest our desires, to know that all things are possible. What are we going to do? We must be convinced. It's not about convincing anybody else. Even if it's about your career, a relationship, something, it is not about convincing others. It is about convincing yourself. Do you know the power that you have inside of you? And do you know what will happen when you convince yourself that anything is possible? You're the one who needs to be convinced. You must convince yourself that nothing is unachievable. Nothing is off the table for you. Nothing. No area. You can manifest anything that you want. And this book will help you understand how to convince yourself for the things that you desire. No, I may not have the things that you desire. You may not have the things that I desire. But I can convince myself that the things that I want and that I believe I can do, that I believe I can achieve, the things that I want to see come to pass in my life, I can convince myself that I can do it. I can convince myself that it's possible for me. I can convince myself that there is something greater than me that can reach heights that I cannot reach physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. And that is what Convince Yourself book is about. All things are possible and you can do it. So as you see, my books are highly motivational about convincing yourself that all things are possible for you, that you can do anything to find your greatness, to reach deep down inside and see that what you want and what you desire and what you want to do and what you want to have and what you want to be is possible, okay? And that is just what I was called to in this life. I know it is. I'm inspirational, I'm motivational, and I love to write. And that is what you'll find in my books. So, just on the same subject, what I wanted to do was I really wanted to inspire somebody. And what I did, and what I would like for you to do, is take out a sheet of paper. You shouldn't need more than two, but... Take out a sheet of paper, and I want you to write at the top of that paper a thing, something that you need to focus on. There's an area in your life that you need to focus on, an area of your life that you need to appreciate and feel good about. I want you to write that at the top of the paper. And then I want you to go back as far as you want as far as you want, to the very beginning, when it all began, or whatever. 
and I just want you to briefly jot notes. Just small, short sentences for every single year that you choose, okay? So for me, I wrote, I am successful. And I started with the year 2000. I went back 24 years, all the way to 2024. And in each, for each year, I just wrote one to two sentences, small phrases that answered the question about me being successful, that inspired and motivated and encouraged and expanded upon the statement that I'm successful. I wrote down why I'm successful to myself. Why am I successful for me? So re remember, just like I was saying with the books, it is about you. Your relationship with you is what is important. Your relationship with God your relationship with your higher power, your relationship in this world with the universal being of possibility, that's the energy that you need to focus on in your life. And if you haven't done it, that's what you need to do. It is about you and your relationship with positivity. What you can do, what you can achieve, what you have achieved. It's about appreciating and embracing the love that you have within you for yourself and the power working within you that can get you where you need to be and that has brought you from any place that you didn't need to be to where you need to be now. And what I did was, like I said, each year I wrote something positive and I keep this in a special place with me and I'm reminded of it every day. Okay, you can choose, if you don't want a sheet of paper, you can choose a small object and write a special message. Something that you are going to have to do every single day. Okay, you brush your teeth every day. You take a shower every day. You may want to um, put a special message in a special place that you go to every single day. Something that you know you're going to have to do. And for many of us, you have to change clothes every single day. So it could be a special place in your drawer or where you keep your clothing. But just something that you're going to have to touch base with and have eye contact with every single day to see how special you are, to see the wonderful things that you've already achieved. Because you need to have a positive relationship with yourself even just to convince yourself of goals in the future. So I want you to just focus on bringing positive energy because one of the things about manifestation that people just don't really always understand is you have to bring a positive energy, okay? There's all types of negativity around us, and I talk about it all the time, but you have to shift your energy when you're talking about manifestation and you're desiring something that is special and different in your life, okay? You can't focus on the things that are not working out. You can't focus your energy on the negatives, the things that have you bothered and feel so incomplete in certain areas, okay? You need to focus on that positive energy that is there. And that's the thing. Most people don't think, oh, well, I'm not a happy person or I'm not a person who I don't do all that. Of course you don't. And that is why you're here to be directed to the path that is taking you through the journey of life and showing you that you can be, do, and have whatever you want to do and whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to achieve is possible. Remember, there are no limits, but you must appreciate yourself. You must have things in your life that you're grateful for, that you're thankful for, and that you're able to focus on every single day that bring you to the thought process in your mind that I'm thankful, I'm grateful. There's something that you're grateful for. And every time you get put in a position to focus on that 
gratefulness and what you're thankful for and how good things are for you. You just feel better. And when you feel good, you look good. We all know that. But when you feel good, you're able to achieve. You're able to reach. You're able to even get out of the slump that you might find yourself in. There may be something in your life that was tragic that happened. Something that really hurt you and was painful for you. And just like anybody, I want you to understand we've all experienced pain and hurt and difficulty. And sometimes people think that because we're in that spot or we've experienced that in the past, that we just can't get through. We can't fight our way through. We can't move forward. And you can't. And that's how you can manifest great things in your life because first you need to come to the reality, the real truth that you can make it. You can make it. There's something positive on the other side, no matter what it is, no matter hard it, how hard it may have been for you. There is something inside of you that can bring and pull you out of that. And it starts with an energy shift. It just starts with, you don't even have to feel it to be able to just tell yourself, you know what? There's better way in for me. There's good inside of me. There is a positivity that can bring me to a happier, peaceful place. You don't have to feel that to say it. You can start saying it right now. And just keep on saying it. And I'm telling you what I, everything I'm telling you that I've written, I have done it. I have done it. Okay. And that's how I can sit before you on this YouTube channel and share with you how I found myself just reaching higher levels in d different areas of my life. I'm telling you, I used to be in a very negative space. And I was able to see it turn completely around. And even though I've always had some type of joy and happiness and peace about me, it doesn't mean that I haven't experienced negativity or I haven't been around it. I haven't heard other people that were talking and act negative. I have experienced all of that. And because I was able to find this joy, this inner joy within me, I found that everything just started lining up. And just like I said in my YouTube video yesterday, it's true. I started realizing that there's this thing that happens to me. I don't care what's going on negative around me. It just automatically changes things. When I start speaking positivity, I don't even have to feel it. I'm just telling you. I don't even have to feel like I'm in a positive space. I can just start speaking positive sentences, saying positive words, just single words, joy, peace, happiness, love, Just and just keep on saying them. And if I run out of words to say, I just start repeating those words. And I'm telling you, it just starts to shift like, I mean, you've seen magic tricks in the real world, right? In a magic show, or you've seen things that just look and appear like illusions. I'm telling you, when I do this, it just, something starts to shift. Like, the inside of me just comes alive. And I'm telling you, if it's just when I go out, or if I'm doing something, or if I'm interacting with somebody, or whatever I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to reach a goal or something, it just starts changing things. Like, the atmosphere just starts to change. Almost like there's this invisible, the way I see it, it's like there's this invisible energy. You know, when you watch movies, and they're animated in their science fiction or something else. And they can just put all of these animations to make the movie come alive. It's as if something powerful happens. Just like with my Miracle Manifestation book. Okay. See this energy force on the book? Yes. It's like 
that's what really made me put the energy force on my book because there was it's just this thing that happens and it really just makes a huge difference for me it just changes things there's a positive transition and it's just been happening for me and because i acknowledge it it just things just go you know in the right direction but the main thing i want you to know is you got to find that appreciation about yourself stop worrying about people what they're doing to make you happy what they're doing in your life to frustrate you or make things hard and difficult forget that forget that just like you yes i've experienced it too that's why i'm here telling you today don't worry about that everything that i'm telling you right now that is just you need to focus on you focus on you where you need to be where you want to be what needs to change in your life just focus on how good your life can be don't worry about how it's going to happen who's going to be in your life who's going to be a part of this who's not no just focus on yourself where you want to be where you need to be what things about you can change what can you change about yourself to make your life better don't worry about what other people are doing just what are you doing Okay, that's why I'm so excited about my next book that's coming. Oh my goodness, it's going to be such a great addition to these books already. Um, already written, but just get one with yourself and start appreciating. Start with you. You don't have to do this in front of anybody. Get a private room, a private space in your home or wherever you live, wherever you are residing. And just get one with yourself and start appreciating yourself. Start appreciating. Don't focus on what you did wrong. Don't focus on what you don't have right now. Okay? Just focus on you. What do you appreciate about you? What is good about you? Start with the things that you've done that are good. And be honest with yourself. What's good about you? What are some things that you've been complimented on? What are some things that... If you, yeah, just really thinking about it, I'm so proud of myself for this. I'm so happy that this is what it is. I'm so grateful for this. Start with your gratefulness, your thankfulness with you and the positive energy that's been working for you in your life. I know you believe that you've been blessed. I know that you believe that you've had some things work out for you in your life. So start there. And then just start appreciating yourself. Start letting positive words come out of your mouth about you and then your environment and then everything around you, your relationship, your money. It, I don't care if you don't have a lot of money, honey. Mm -mm. That can change fast. Just start looking at the money that you do have. Start with those little coins in your pocket, in your uh, purse in your little wallet yeah mm -hmm. start talking to them yeah that's what i said it sounds strange start talking to those little coins in your purse start talking to those coins in your wallet start talking to that one dollar bill and watch it change watch it change i'm just telling you what i know watch it change talk to it okay see it as energy and talk to it Talk to those bills. Tell those bills to change. Start being thankful that those bills are in the process of changing. Just, oh, okay, I get it. Well, I can't say that because it's not here. Okay, then start. Remember what I said about being thankful and grateful. You know what? I'm so grateful that I've gone from change to dollar bills. I'm so grateful that I've gone from $1 bills to $5 bills. From $5 bills to $10 bills. From $10 bills to $20 bills. From $20 bills to $50. You get it. And on up. And I'm telling you, look at those bills. Oh, I'm so glad that I have paid this off. I'm so glad that things are working for me. I'm so glad that I'm prosperous. I'm so glad that prosperity is on the way to me. I'm so glad that I'm in a more positive, abundant space. I mean, just start talking. 
And if you don't know what to say, like I said, get my books. There are positive affirmations in every single one. And I'm telling you here directly, you don't have to feel it when you first start saying that stuff. Some of you, it's okay. You're not used to being in a positive energy space. Maybe you didn't grow up in a positive environment. Maybe you haven't been around positivity. Maybe you've been around negativity. So it's okay if it doesn't feel right in the beginning. But just don't worry about how it feels. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. And you know how to smile. You know how to laugh. Start smiling. Start laughing. Don't even worry about if you have anything to smile and laugh about. Just, just start doing it. Start responding to and targeting that positive energy that exists in all of us. And watch it start to change your life. This is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com. Please go to my website, look at my materials, and get some of it in your life. I'm telling you, just stick with me and you will see things will start to change in a very positive direction. Have a great night.